What is going on guys? Today I want to go over another bow gun build and it's going to be another pierce bow gun build but this one is going to be a bow gun build that will probably test your, <laughs> your limits on this game because how grindy it is to get. Now I want to go over this build because Monster Hunter Rise um, devs uh, decided to give us a special pack which gives us lazarite jewels and it gives us 30 of them. So this will give you a little bit of a head start on this grind and I'll show you why. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so this is not a new build. This build was, had probably been around in Monster Hunter Rise um, when it came out back in 2021. And a lot of veteran hunters of Monster Hunter Rise probably know about this Pierce build already. But if you are new to the game, you probably want to use this Pierce build because it is very good. Now, looking at these armor pieces, you're like, what's the big deal? Why is this build going to be so grindy? All right, I'm going to show you why. So let's jump into the decorations of this build, okay? In our Nargakuga light bow gun, we have a Tenderizer Jewel 2. The Rhinopolis Helm, we have a Brace Jewel 1. In our Vac, Vac Mail, we have a Pierce Jewel 3 and a Weakness Exploit Jewel 2. Tenderizer is Weakness Exploit, if you didn't know. And we also have a Quick Load Jewel, which is Reload Speed. In our Jira Totus Van Braces, we have a Salvo Jewel, or this is Rapid Fire Up. Tenderizer Jewel, aka Weakness Exploit Jewel. An Absorber Jewel, which is a Recoil Reduction. In our Chrome Metal, we have another Rapid Fire Jewel. We have a Crit Boost Jewel. And we have a Flinch Free Jewel, or a Brace Jewel. And then again, <laughs> in our Azeroth, Grease, we have another rapid fire jewel, another crit boost jewel, and another recoil jewel. And then in our talisman, we have a crit boost, crit boost jewel, and then a destroyer jewel, which is a part breaker. Now, if we go to look at our skills, and you took note of all the skills I just listed, everything we have here besides two levels of pierce up is from our jewels you have to farm every jewel here and it's going to be a grind so let me go to the quest board actually first let's go to the smithy and look at some of these jewels um, this is why you need to get that pack because you need these lazarite jewels and you need a lot of them for these higher tier jewel decorations you're going to be using five lazarite jewels per right so that's only going to net you the 30 right there is only going to net you six jewels and you need three rapid fire jewels you need three tender or weakness exploit jewels or decorations and you need three crit boost jewels and you also need one pierce jewel and then i'm assuming if you're already a Bowgun user, you probably already have the absorber jewels and the reload jewels. So, and if you don't, you need blood run jewels for that and not the lazarite ones, which are way easier to come by. You should have a decent stack of those if you're at this level of the game, able to get these tenderizer jewels and the rapid fire jewels. So, let me put you on some quests that you need to be able to get these lazarite jewels easier and um yeah let's jump into that all right guys jumping into the quest board you want to go to your high rank quest board and you want to go to the seven star quests you want to scroll over to the apex monsters now these apex monsters unlock if you do the rampage quests for them so you're going to need to do the rampage quest for them i only have apex azeroth rathian and rathalos and I either farm Apex Rathalos or Rathian, and these will net you around two, anywhere, I've gotten anywhere from two to eight Lazarite Jewels from the quest. I don't know if anything increases it, so what I do is I make sure I break all the parts, and I'll make sure I cap them, I mean, not cap, because you can't cap them, but make sure you uh, break, pretty much make sure you break all the parts, because I, I don't think you can cap Apex monsters. So, you're going to be grinding these a lot and then obviously 
the decorations you're gonna have to grind out all the pieces for those decorations as well it is a very grindy grindy set to get but it is very good so let's go over those skills for a little bit so in my last build video that i did for a pierce bowgun build i had two different builds i had an early game i had an early high rank set and a it was like a mid to higher it was pretty much a in game high rank set and this is a like a mid max in game high rank set so we have crit boost which gives us 40 percent damage to our critical hits we have weakness exploits attacks that hit weak spot weak spots have 50 percent increased affinity which adds to our narukuga bow gun which already has 40 percent affinity we have pierce up we're only using pierce so this greatly increases the power of pierce ammo we have rapid fire up which if we go to our ammo if you don't know what rapid fire is at the top of your ammo you'll see that the orange icon that's pointing upwards with the double arrows is rapid fire anything that has that symbol will get boosted by rapid fire up and then I spec them flinch free because sometimes I be getting hit off screen by other pierce bow users and it might cause you to faint if you're trying to like heal or something. I got enough recoil and recoil reduction and reload speed to make it the fastest for the bow gun that I'm using and the ammo type. And then stun resistance is just an additive from my, what is this from? From the helmet, the Rhinopolis helmet that comes with two levels of pierce up and one level of stun resistance. And then I spec them part breaker for a little bit extra damage. And that is pretty much all the slots for this entire build. Everything is maxed out. You are gonna be doing a lot of damage. So that is all I have for you guys. I just wanna make this quick video because like I said, if you're new to the game and you wanna really get into this game, this will get you into this game you will probably be frustrated with this game by the time you get this build done but once you get it you will feel accomplished so to my new humper hum, <laughs> so to my new hunters have fun with this don't take it too seriously and i hope you the best with this build i'll catch you guys later peace